Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for a link to my Amazon store, where I've compiled some of the very best items available, including some of my own personal recommendations. Thanks! What's going on, YouTube Metal Complex here, and welcome to episode 44 of The Knife Guy. If you are new to my channel, or new to this series, or you just came out of some weird corner of the internet and you have no idea where you are, I'm a knife guy, knife enthusiast, knife collector, knife user, knife collector, knife enjoyer of many sorts. We are all who generally who watch this series. So we're all knife guys and gals in our own way. We take our own unique paths, but oftentimes those paths intersect and we experience a lot of the same stuff. And that's what this series is about. I like to lay out a whole bunch of knives that are normally either mine or somebody else's that have lent me a knife for review. Uh, and then I, I essentially just pick them up and I flip them out and I just talk um, and give you something to sit back and enjoy on Sundays. Um, I've laid out only stuff that I own uh, for this episode. Um, a lot of it is stuff that I've purchased and a lot of it is stuff that was gifted to me. In fact, the majority of this stuff is stuff that was gifted to me, um, which is um, really cool. Uh, there are a lot of people who have um, you know, been with this channel for since the beginning, and there's a lot of people who have just recently joined, but I found that one common theme, no matter where I am, um, you know, with the whole YouTube thing is that people are just generous. That's a, it's very common in the knife community for people to be super generous. And it's because, um, people, there's nothing, arguably, there's nothing a lot of us enjoy more than getting a new person to, uh, who's not a knife person to enjoy knives for one reason or another. Now that's not why people sent me stuff. People are just nice. You know, it's not, I, I, wasn't trying to be inviting to the idea of gifting me things. People just do it. Oftentimes they go ahead and send it and then they inform me that it's coming. And so there's not really a way for me to say no. So first and foremost, I appreciate that. I appreciate everything that everybody has uh, done for this channel, you know, just in terms of just watching it, or if you joined Patreon, or if you sent me a knife for review, or you gifted me a knife, whatever. Uh, everything that everybody's done has just been amazing. And uh, I absolutely owe the growth of the channel to the people who watch this channel, obviously, but for more reasons than just viewing and subscribing, um, which I very much appreciate. So thank you so much. Uh, and that brings me to um, today's topic. And it's probably one that's overlapped many times uh, in many different episodes of The Knife Guy. And um, looking at this pile of knives, which is honestly no, not it's not my entire collection. There's a lot more. It's just what will fit on screen. Um, and you know, I don't, I don't know that I really want to calculate up the value of this stuff, but I look at it and considering what's, what's happening in the world right now, which, you know, me personally, I'm, I'm not in, um, fear of, of my health so much. I absolutely have heeded the warnings. We have been taking extra care to wash our hands, make sure surfaces are cleaned off. Um, things like that, just going a little extra, right? Um, uh, but, uh, looking at this and, and considering the situation in the world, right, it is, um, a time of, uh, economic uncertainty and, and, you know, people are being impacted in different ways, certainly, um, different age groups of people. Um, and, uh, also, you know, there, are, there are uh, people that are suddenly without jobs and, um, there's just essentially this, this is affecting everybody. Um, absolutely. Now, Rest assured, this channel, um, I've, I've taken uh, a bunch of measures to ensure that no matter what, you guys will continue to get um, at least one upload a day. I, in fact, at the time being, um, it's actually still going to be two uploads a day, but you guys will continue to get at least one upload a day uh, for the next uh, two months uh, is exactly what I've planned for. Um, but looking at all this pile of knives that I own and realizing the incredible value you know, that I'm, I'm looking at here, um, and, uh, you know, I, I do use my knives. There's a lot of knives, you know, I, I don't use every single one of these. Some, some of them I just enjoy. And, uh, as a knife guy, you know, and a lot of people watching, you know, you might just have one knife. You might be more of a knife user. You might be watching my, my channel just because you enjoy looking at knives, but don't feel compelled to buy more. A lot of you actually, um, probably do constantly look for your next purchase, which is part of the reason I put that thing at the beginning of each episode so that I can, you know, <laughs> provide a source, I guess. Um, but uh, uh, a lot of you are, are like me and you're constantly looking for your next knife. Why? Because most of us in one way, shape or form have the itch. And we, we, the process is we have accepted this, um, this part of us that wants, you know, 
to that enjoys knives and wants to always look for new things. And then we get a new thing and we, you know, we turn it over in our hands and we go over every feature and then, you know, we just infatuate you know, or are infatuated by little things and, and just love it. And then it slowly wears off and we decide, you know, the, the euphoria of that most recent purchase wears off and we seek the next fix, which is inevitably another knife, right? Um, and what is, I think, most often overlooked is uh, appreciation, essentially thankfulness for what we already have, whether you have one knife or whether you have a hundred knives, right? Um, we, we kind of uh, forget, you know, um, to be thankful for, you know, just being able to have that one or just what we enjoy about that one. And sometimes it, it, it brings itself back. And I'll give you guys an example. Uh, the humble rat one here that is seen more use than almost everything that I've got out here. Um, and uh, I, I don't think about this knife much. And it's ironically something that I enjoy about it is my ability to throw this thing in my pocket and use it without any concern for the, the knife's integrity. I just use it, right? It's just a tool. It's a blade, which is what all knives are. Um, uh, but uh, every now and then I, I you know, we'll, we'll get this knife out. I'll use it and I'll make a cut and I'll, you know, we do that thing where we jam it into a piece of wood while we're doing whatever and before, you know, it's, it's just easier to pull it back out of that wood than pull it back, put it back in your pocket and then pull it out for the next cut. Sometimes I'll stop and I'll go, God dang, I love this thing. You know, I just really, really like this knife and I, I just appreciate it. And it's just, it's brief, but I, I do sort of acknowledge my appreciation for it. But then it goes back out the window again. And um, so again, in, in light of what's happening, you know, it, it's kind of stuff like this, you know, while I, you know, I'm sure we will, of course, get to a point where everything will go back to normal, you know, not not saying that it will be for everybody. There certainly are people out there who are more at risk and 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 understandably more worried about the situation than others. Um, but um, we will eventually uh, get back to a, a time of normalcy. Um, but it it does put things into perspective, and it it changes uh, your perspective on things we need, right? Uh, things that are absolutely imperative to have and, um, you know, things that we don't necessarily need. And as you can see here, um, I would consider this to be essentially a pile of luxuries. Um, it's, it's a bunch of stuff that uh, I, I enjoy for reasons beyond their utility. Um, and, uh, you know, some things that absolutely get used, um, as exactly what they are. These are all knives that are meant to be used, built to be used, but I, I only use a few of them. So the rest of them are, um, it's, they're luxuries, right? They're just, there's things that I have because I like them. So I look at this stuff and as much appreciation as I have for all of it, I, I think about the what's going on in the world right now. And, and I think, man, um, I don't really, most of this I don't need at all, you know, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to have it, but I'm also thankful to have um, a bunch of other things. Uh, currently, you know, my health, um, you know, family, friends, uh, you know, a job, uh, there, there's a whole bunch of things to be thankful for. So I guess you guys have probably figured out the theme of today's topic and it's just, and you know, I, I don't want this to come off the wrong way. Like I'm, I'm like, we should be thankful for things. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, but yeah, I mean, I, I am, I, I, I want to sit down and, and look at this stuff and go, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm happy that I have this stuff. And, and honestly, if today marked the a day where I would no longer acquire a single additional knife. The initial thought that I would have is, well, that's a bummer because I really like knives and I want, I want to have more, you know, but do I need more? No. Are they, am, am, am I even using all of them? No. You know, do I love them all? Would I be, would I be content? Well, I sure better be, you know, I mean, geez, all this stuff, uh, you know, I, beyond like what my general rotation is, there's only, let me think about this one, two, three, four, five knives out here are in my honest rotation. And actually this one right here, um, the rest of this stuff, well, no, actually this guy's in my rotation too, but the rest of this stuff, you know, kind of sits around and I just enjoy it. You know, it's just an object to behold and turn it over. And it's, a, it's a material possession, you know, when I'm not using it, that's exactly what it is. It's just a material possession that I'm like, Ooh, shiny have, I'm, I have it. It makes me happy to have it. Right. And, uh, and then, you know, it, it evolves into this thing that's, that I just have, and I'm not even 
enjoying it. You know, I'm not like actively enjoying it. Like when I think back to it, I'm like, yeah, I love that knife, but it's just sitting, right? And so I'm lo I'm looking at this stuff and I'm like, man, you know, I'm 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 lucky to have even one of these. Truthfully, I'm I'm lucky to have an XM18. I remember um, lusting over this knife and thinking, you know, boy, uh, these things on this, and this was way back, I've talked about this many times, 2012, 2013, we're going on the secondary market when they were scarce for upwards of $800. Now, a lot of you guys know brand new, these things run 425. Back then, you could only order them direct from Hinderer. You'd have to kind of wait your turn, but it was military law enforcement could get them for like 385, 395 bucks. And I thought, oh, even at that much money, I could never justify that. You know, and I would just lose my mind to have even one of those, right? Well, now I've had, oh, I'm almost ashamed to say it. I've had 25, 26 different hinderers and at least 18 of them have been XM18s. So, and I never, I mean, if I'd gone back in time and told myself like, hey, you know, wait till you hear what's gonna happen. <laughs> down the road, I would have just lost my mind. And now I, you know, I'm here and I love knives and my passion for knives is ever burning, but that's because the fire is being ever fed by new things, right? So it's, it's not often that I step back, look at my collection, think about the path that got me here and uh, not only appreciate them, but realize that a lot of them are just luxuries. That's all that they are. They're just things that I enjoy having. And so I'm trying to be open and honest and let you guys know that, you know, and, and not be like, you know, it's like I said earlier, I'm not trying to be like, you guys should appreciate what you have. I mean, obviously that, that, that nobody needs to be told that, right? I mean, we all have, you know, our own lives going on. We got our own things to worry about, you know, um, but uh, we all, you know, appreciate what we have in different ways and think about that stuff in different, at different intervals. Um, but, um, I don't know, you know, it's just, it's, it's like, uh, it's like the episode I did last week. I was like, you know, what knife would I take with me in a hypothetical situation where, you know, the, the poop hit the fan, <laughs> not that I, no part of me thinks that's going to happen. Um, but, uh, and I, I looked back at that episode and I thought, you know, why am I even thinking about what knife I would take with me? Like, it's not the most important thing. I mean, I said it in the episode, I was like, that would not be the first thing on my mind. There'd be a bunch of other things on my mind, right? Um, it is something, I mean, I, I would want a pocket knife. I'd want more than just a pocket knife. There's a lot of reasons to carry a knife, but it's not, you know, when people talk about the essentials, right? The essentials of the circumstance. Well, right now, the essentials, as far as it applies to the average person in the world, not just the United States, but the world, essentials are defined specifically to the circumstance, right? So when I talk about like putting things into perspective, um, this is not an essential item. Um, and I look back at it and I'm like, this is completely non-essential, but you know, I, I am appreciative that I have, you know, gotten to this point in my life where I've acquired this stuff and I certainly would be and 100% should be happy with um, the circumstances leading up to its acquisition, which again was a gift actually from my wife. Um, so I'm very, very thankful for all this stuff. And, and uh, you know, as a, as a whole, you know, amongst the entire knife community, I think we should all collectively be thankful but that there's enough interest in this stuff that it's being made in like that these um, incredible high quality pieces, right? Think back to like 2005. Right? Here's an example of something that you find every single day in the knife world. This is a titanium frame lock flipper that has an incredible detent, that has incredible action, it's very smooth, it's got S35VN blade steel, it's got carbon fiber inlays, it's a wonderful build of a knife. But the style of it is very common. Titanium frame lock flipper, add in S35VN or, you know, supplement m390 right they seem to be kind of interchangeable at this price range in this style right yeah it's a good knife 2005 would have blown our minds blown us away i mean the most incredible thing that was being built in 2005 arguably was the sabenza uh which is still an incredible knife right um but uh i i i was using that as a segue for something um but 
yeah, it, it's it's easy to overlook stuff like that right now because we live in a, a world where you know things are there's such a demand, right? It's our collective demand and interest in this that allows us to the the opportunity to even purchase it. So I'm trying to think. I mean, I've said this before. Have you ever kept asking yourself why? And then you answer yourself and then you ask why that and you, and you answer yourself and you keep doing that. There's something where it's like if you do that seven times, you get to the root of if it's an issue, you get to the root to the issue. If it's a, you know, how did I get here? You know, how did I, you know, uh, you know, uh, obtain what I wanted to obtain? You get to the foundation of the subject, right? And so I, I did that a lot. And it's I realized it's, you know, it's simple um, demand, right? Supply and demand. If nobody was interested in this stuff, then it wouldn't be here, you know? So it's, it's like, you know, I constantly, constantly have comments in my comment section. Why do you own it if you don't use it? Well, first off, because it's mine. I do what I want with it, right? We all do what we want with our own stuff. We don't have to answer to anybody else. We just do what we want. <laughs> and I'm going to continue to do that. But the fact that it's even here, right? The fact that it's available for people to purchase and even decide what they want to do with it is strictly because there is a demand for it, right? So whether or not it should or shouldn't be used goes out the window. We should just be thankful that we have the opportunity to acquire it. I'm certainly thankful but that not only does it exist and I can purchase it if I want to, but people just get, have given me things, right? I mean, that's I should be actively appreciative of that all the time. I can't force my brain to do it all the time, but I should be. And so I'm trying to, you know, this episode is, is basically my, my attempt to remind myself like this. We should be thankful for this because it's all not promise nothing no material thing no, no no you know organic or inorganic thing nothing in in this world is promised no matter what who you are and, or what you believe in we we live in an absolutely finite universe everything will end right whether or not it begins again i have no idea but you know um that's that's where we live so considering that and considering what's going on it's scary, right? We all have to take precautions. We all have to change things, but it changes perspective. Um, it makes it, us look at things in a, a different light. And uh, I'm, I, you know, I try to see the positives in everything. And um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I guess, you know, if you're somebody who owns multiple knives and you have some sitting around, whether you use them or you don't use them, you know, or you just own one knife, I would, I would say, you know, not only with that knife, but with everything in your life, right, that you have not given extra time, not taken or created a, a, or, or taken an opportunity to give an extra effort to appreciate that thing. You know, this is a good time, I think, for all of us to just look around and go, you know, I mean, we spend so much of our lives going, I wish I had this. Why does Jerry have a speedboat? Screw Jerry, you know? Well, you know, <laughs> we're always going to want more stuff, but um, this is a good opportunity to look around and just be like, Man, I'm I'm happy that I have what I have, right? Uh, and I am. I'm I'm really really happy for that. And I, I in some ways I'm even, I'm thankful even for the opportunity to um to to be forced to look at things like that. Obviously, if I could snap my fingers and end this entire uh, worldwide situation, I would. Um, but uh, yeah, it's absolutely times like this. I think that we look at you know things that we we can be thankful for. Now, again, though, let me stress. Um, not everybody's situation is the same. For a lot of people, it's much easier to say that. You know, there are a lot of people who are in a really bad situation and this is affecting a lot more. And it's much harder, understandably, for those people to look around and be thankful for anything. And so I don't want to offend anybody or, you know, give give the wrong message or anything like that. Um, really, I just want to, I want to keep doing what I'm doing. I want to keep providing you guys with knife content. Um, you know, and, and give you guys stuff to watch, right? I mean, the, ch the channel, first and foremost, um, is it's about knives. It's about our collective shared enjoyment of knives. Um, and right now, I'm really hoping that my channel, at the very least, is um, serving, despite the nature of this episode, is serving as a distraction um, to that. Because I know there's a lot of people who are stuck at home with nothing else to do, which is why I'm trying to dedicate, you know, my time. I'm also stuck at home. I'm trying to make sure that I can keep... I'm bringing you guys content, but anyways, guys, I think that's going to be pretty much it. I hope you got something out of this at the very least entertainment. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. 
And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on this Metal Complex logo right here and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.